Hey there, folks. As far as you're concerned, my name is Freak with a Pen, and this is the Thursday stream. And as usual, we're doing a classic game, and as we started last week with, uh, with, uh, Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus, I thought, hey, why not continue with that? So... While I do a few things off screen, why don't we go ahead and, uh, that's the wrong screen. Uh, why don't we go ahead and start up Miss Ruby's level. I figured out a way to get us to The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, Ms. Ruby. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Okay, sounds like everything's sounding good. Alright. Oh, I remember those ones being a pain in the ass. Sorry, Sly, but this is one mission you will have to accomplish without me. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not a problem. This swamp is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from my shot section of the you mean the raccoon railwalk? The roots and vines around here are perfect for that. All you gotta do is jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away, and we're in super slick from Mickey Slime and Moss. You'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it. <laughs> if I oh, this isn't one of the slide ones. Nope. Can't go up there yet. Gotta get the bottle. Also, I didn't happen to miss one back here, did I? No, I don't think so. If I go crazy, then will you still. No. Oh. Call me Superman! Like, I don't think that that song was actually in any of the, uh... of the, uh, Pro Skater soundtracks until, like, 3. But for some reason, that is just, like... In my mind, that's the quintessential, uh... For some reason, in my mind, that's the quintessential Tony Hawk, uh, Pro Skater song. guys 
Mm. Don't like them. This is creepy. What you looking at? Oh, see something interesting down there? Hmm. Oh, neat. Anyway, that's Miss Ruby's lair. To get in, you'll need that key on top of a tiki pedestal in the guard compound. There's a bad mojo force field protecting it. So you'll have to destroy all five of the purple candles surrounding it. No problem. Don't get cocky or you'll end up with your head shrunk to the size of a pea. You've got to get past those voodoo guards. And I'm warning you, they're made and they work like a team. So do we, buddy. You know, going back to a, uh, going back to a thing I was talking about, um, in the last stream of this. Uh... I think another reason why people didn't like, um, didn't like, uh, Sly Cooper 4 was because it went against, uh, some of the stuff that they set up, or, or, or established, rather, uh, in the previous games. Like, the fact that, uh, Bentley does, in fact, believe in supernatural stuff. Because, I mean, frankly, he, he's seen it firsthand. There we go. And there we go. I still can't... Mm, I still can't believe... I never knew that you were too small during the roll for Mugshot to hit you. Press the circle to enter the vault code. Oh my god. If I god. did my math right, and I always do my math right, then the combination has got to be 588. Sorry, I just had to do a... I, I don't... I... Mm. I don't know why this is working. Uh... So... What my s streaming setup usually is for... Electrified. Kelly McCooper's notes on how to harness the electromagnetic field created by a rolling raccoon. Now your raccoon roll move will really pack a punch. Plus, it should give you a nice tingling sensation. Cool. So... Usually, what my streaming setup for, or what my streaming setup is for, for, um, for the PS3, is that I fucking, what? Oh, right, I have to take out the candles, I forgot. Um... My streaming setup for the PS3 is usually that I'm running it through 
the AV cables uh, into this little box that switches it to an HDMI. That was weird. Why'd all the, uh... Hmm. The textures seem to have glitched there for a second. Uh, anyway. I usually, uh, run it through the AV cables into a box that switches it to an HDMI, uh, signal. And... That plugs into my switch box, which plugs it into my splitter, which plugs into my capture card. And the reason I normally do that is because the first time I tried streaming with the PS3 with just its HDMI cable port... It's because the first time I tried to stream, I streamed it through the HDM the normal HDMI port in the back of the PS3. But all the sound was replaced with this like horrible uh static sound. But um it doesn't seem to be doing that now. I I really it, mm. I I'm not it it's not that I'm mad I guess it's just, I don't know why this game is working through the HDMI port and not other games that I've streamed from the PS3. Maybe because this is a PS2 game that was just on the PS3? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. trying to keep something in or maybe she's trying to uh, I I mm. I mean really that's really the only two reasons to have a gate isn't it I got that thing earlier that makes it so I don't die when I fall into water. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, spiders. Think you can sneak that by me, you sons of bitches? Get out of here, spider. Eh, eh, no! Hate you guys. Hate you in this game and in real life. Fucking spiders. In this <laughs> I forgot which one I was talking about. Whoa. Did you see those reeds move? There's something huge 
charge under there. You better get going. Like that that's some good like kid horror, you know? It's such a little thing that would get like a kid scared. But not too scary, you know? Like, this becomes such a pain in the ass, like, especially if you're- oh! Especially if you're like me, and you're trying to get all the friggin' bottles. No! No! Really screwed me there at the end, didn't ya? I got one horseshoe back. Bentley, that's a terrible combination. Is this because in Japan, four is unlucky? It's four, right? Or is it... No, it's not five. Then. Four that's unlucky. Like, it's got something to do with how the English uh, number four sounds very phonetically this. Or, no. No, it's that. What is it? I think it's that the number four. Four in kanji is very close to the kanji for death. I think that's it. Oh god, this one. Source of oil are those piranha you see swimming around. 
Run them down with a boat. One fish fuels one shot. Hurry, you only have two minutes to get all the torches lit. Why? Why do I only have two minutes, Bentley? Can't believe I only hit one fish out of that whole big cluster I was chasing. Oh well, just wasted a shot. Oh! How much time did I have left on that? thread the fucking needle on that one I feel like I did I am a living god Then why is the blue... whatever. Get fucked! <laughs> Don't mind it- do it! Right, the ghosts. Piss off, ghosts! Very interesting. When you smash that gravestone, the ghosts stop coming. It must be some kind of ghost generator. Maybe if you smash sure. them all, you'd be safe. Ghost generator s sounds like something that uh, Butch Hartman came up with for Danny Phantom after he became a born again. Ah, oh, man. Turns out the Ghostbusters didn't need the uh, Proton Packs. They could have just fucking whacked them.
No! Away, ghosts! Out of this house! God, they just re they really do just pack this level with uh, bottles. Is there any bottle over there? No, I don't think so. I could swear one of these has a bottle that you ah. Piss off. Oh, they're turtle skeletons. That's horrifying. Like, it's especially messed up when you realize that one of your best friends in the game is a turtle. Oh, uh, this doesn't seem like uh, as much as I should have. Fuck off, ghosts! The fact that they're so satisfied when you when they suck out your blood is makes them especially annoying. Off. Missing one. Uh, that's always the word. Oh wait, no, it's right over there. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Just gotta. Just, uh, no. Oh right.
but try one, two, eight. If he said it was one, two, three, I was just gonna laugh. One, two, three. It's kind of a combination idiot puts on their luggage. These are the blueprints to this Ruby's production facility. I'll pipe this information into your binocucom. Use it to find breakables and clues nearby. Hmm. So of course it had to have that little sneaky fucker of a uh, of a clue back there. Okay, I did that one, did that one, did that one up there. Are there any more here? No, just, okay. Oh, and I only needed three. Hello, large snake. Now, you shall assist me. Good day to you, large snake. Fuck off, spider. Looks like this is some kind of giant voodoo egg beater to stir up that unsanitary mess. If I can unlock the cauldron's lid, I might be able to thrash their production and build up enough steam pressure to get launched up to Ruby's skull temple. Okay, sounds sure. like we've got a plan. To get around that thing, try moving in the shadows made by the masks so that the guards won't see you. Gross. What in the... Ah, you dick. Is that thing wearing a bow tie? Huh. Ooh. I mean, although I I can't get hurt in the water. Although, does this count as water? Hey. Oh, I thought this was going to be a statue of Miss Ruby, but it's just some... I... I'm not sure. Some kind of statue. I mean, I don't think the Sly Cooper games would put an actual Loa in... A statue of an actual Loa in the game, but... Who, who knows? Nope, crap. Oh, I gotta go 
down there to... Okay, the... So, I don't think I ever actually checked out what the the info on the goons were. I thought it was just like a little marker for where they were. I didn't know it had like Mojo Dupree, which I'm fairly certain is the name of a band that its leader was in uh, Redneck Rampant. No, I'm thinking of Mojo Nixon. Never mind. Oh. Oh, that's disappointing. That they're all... D oh, okay, fine. They're all just Mojo Nixon. Or N Mojo Dupree! Mojo Nixon is the band. Or it might be the guy. I'm not sure. He's dead now anyway. Or at least that version of him is. Oh, now I wish I scanned the flaming head bird thing. The flaming bird, uh, turtle skeleton. Whatever he was supposed to be. If I take him out, will he notice? Okay, cool. God, there's a butt ton of friggin' clue bottles down here. Get forward! Slide for the loot. Voodoo Children sounds like the name of a band. Really? No! No! And now I'm fucking stuck? Oh, uh, re 
really... That's so dumb. That's so dumb. I may like the game, I may love the game, but sometimes... But, you know, no game is perfect. I'm up here, will you see me? Oh, I guess we'll never know. <gasps> that reminds me! I forgot that he, like, looks down. Uh, what? What is your thing? What? Come on, let me... What the... No, it still does it. I... I guess he's just not actually considered an enemy. He's considered a, uh... I guess... I guess this dude's not considered a, uh, enemy. He's considered a, uh, obstacle. Which is lame. Oh! Uh, let's see if you're... if... Nasty Charlotte. Arachnid Descendius. Or Descendium. Enjoys bungee jumping. So let, the, the 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 spider gets a fucking gets a friggin' thing, but not the. Mm. This level of disrespect to the the fuck did I hit? Shenanigans. Man, out of horseshoes now. Friggin' bullshit. Friggin' rassle frasslin'. No! Look at all the security! This must be the source of all the disgusting green soup! Where's the ah? Uh. Okay, now that he's too afraid to attack, maybe. Oh, he does have a thing. Pierre Fleming knows. Thermo head. Thermo head tosaurus. Head tosser. Head tosserus. Hates a rainy days. Well, it's good to meet you. Now die. You zombie bastard. sound just now. It almost sounded as if someone used a cane to smash several bottles and even bash a safe open. That couldn't possibly be it. Anyway. Nothing. 
something before my righteous analytical ability. The combination has to be five seven one. All right. I feel like when I was a kid, I, I uh, basically held down that button for the rest of uh, my time playing the game. But I've gotten ever so slightly more skilled since then. It's weird to do a uh, twin stick shooter from a behind the back perspective. Fuck off, Pierre. You and your bow tie. Check to see if the ghosts have names, but um, they're uh, faced. Got that horseshoe to rig. Gross. Oh, you fucking the person who came up with this little you ingenious prick. to zigzags and such.
There we go. I When did I grab the key? I mean, I'll take it, but okay. Gotta be another. It's around here someplace. No, did them. Oh, there was a drum there, okay. Here we go. With all the hay and feathers in here, just looking at this place has got me breaking out in hives. Oh god, this one. We've got no choice. That ghost over there contacted me on Spectre Wave Radio, and we've cut a deal. He's promised us a key if you can whack 50 chickens. I guess he needs them to make a big pot of gumbo, but he's scared of the bob toad roosters. Be careful or they'll blow you to bits. Think you can do it? I would say why would a ghost be afraid of, uh... I would say why would a ghost be afraid of, uh... bomb toting chickens, but I suppose I did take out uh, a bunch of ghosts with just my cane. And again, why is this being timed? Come on, run into each other. Fucking running to each other, you pricks. Come on, fellas, that was only... That was only like three seconds, come on. Ah! Like, it's not hard enough with these fucking coked out roosters chasing my ass. It's also gotta be timed.
Really? I got stuck on the... Fucking... Oh, this is not the time, phone. Also, why are you going off when I friggin... Just out of spite. Just out of spite. Got a viewer. How's it going? Don't know how he managed to throw a key into the locks of the ones that were facing away from him, but you know, whatever. <laughs> also, that just change trajectory all right sure fine <laughs> perfect sense I could feel that Koopa vibe coming most distastefully bad juju yeah well you give me the creeps too lady cooking up an army of ghosts isn't a very neighborly pastime <laughs> oh sly I see your mouth moving but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Well, if jaws need to flop, then let them flop. See you in the next world, Sly Koopa. You know, people, some people make fun of me for uh, putting pauses in between my words, but you know. I'm just saying.
Could be Miss Ruby here. Come back here. You can't run away forever. Quiet true. Quiet true. Why don't I have my servant Chumley escort you over here? All right. What's the catch? Oh, not much. Just a little game I like to play with all my annoying guests. I want to see how well you pay attention. What do you mean? Well, I'll unleash my mighty mojo magic upon you. If you repeat what I do, you'll dodge it just fine. If not, you'll get zapped. <laughs> A little voodoo Simon says, huh? Sounds easy enough. All right. Sorry if I'm particularly quiet during this part. Some of these can get a little bit of a can be a little bit of a pain. the slow ones Okay, there we go. You certainly got some rhythm, raccoon. But it won't help you none if you're fixing to go after the Panda King. He's tough, with a capital T. If you go poking around his stronghold in China, you're likely to get poked back. Yeah, well, if he's anything like the rest of you, I think I'll manage. Ms. Ruby's section of the Thievius Raccoonus held notes from my pioneering ancestor, Slight in Common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of zombies, made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71, earned Ms. Ruby a life sentence behind bars. Is that? While the gang and I enjoyed Is that real? tropical sunshine, working on our tans in preparation for our next caper. Because, like, I've heard some weird-ass fucking laws be made for weird ass fucking reasons. Travel plans to China have all been worked out. I would not be surprised in the least if uh if there actually was a law about making zombies. The 
road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on the Panda King. Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, they couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. Humiliated, the Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art for crime. The Fetish Five recruited him as their demolitions expert, and from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. He's rumored to be perfecting some new firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of Western China. A few things. One... Uh, a few things. One, isn't Kun Lun the name of the mountains from Iron Fist? I mean, maybe they're also real things, but uh, I don't know. Oh, wait, I forgot. Kung Pa. Of course, that's his fucking name. Stickus Baboonium lives for World Cup soccer. Okay. Okay, so this is Andre, Gorillas, Catapultus, Fierce, Fierce Thieving Raccoons, and that's Wonton, uh, Monkeyus Spherium. Right then. Fear me! No, you think? I mean, it's only a firework that came from a fucking building that's fucking shaped like him! Uh, also, I just wanted to take a quick look back here, see if there was any clue bottles I missed. Yeah. Fear me, Andre! Is that the area I was in before? Yeah, could I just drop down from here? I'm not gonna, I'm, you yeah. know. I'm not gonna. Oh, this was the way I was supposed to go. Okay, okay. Okay, game, we get it. There's icicles.
Fear me, double Andre! Okay, I'll stop. I must have missed... No? No, wait, I don't have the... Ah, oh, crap, I don't have the plans for this uh, area yet. Ugh. Yay, fireworks. I, I gotta say, I especially like Panda King's coin design. You see nothing? See a damn thing. Look up, you asshole. Or to the to your left, whatever. Yeah, giggy. Yeah, there. Enjoy the fireworks! Literally. God, I don't even have half. What the from that are here. If I grab that, I don't think the level should end immediately. Right, no, because I need I need it for um Need to need the key for that door there. Wait! Dang it. Press the circle to enter the vault code. I got a real headache figuring this one out. Input five seven eight. Better and better. I'd always heard that when a 
of your southern ancestors, Huckleberry Cooper, developed a technique to move while staying invisible. Hold down the circle button to turn invisible, then move around with the left analog stick. Oh yeah, the uh, incredibly cheap move. I wonder... Oh yeah, I'm cooking with gas now! <laughs> oh god. I mean, technically speaking, I could go through all the levels like that, but I mean, it would just take me like a couple days to finish the game. Wait, did I ever get a scan of these guys? General, S of course. Apius Sword Sordium has hairy palms. Really? Was that? Is that really a masturbation joke? seem to have plenty of firepower around here. I'll just have to find a few more treasure keys to get at it. Um. I trying to say yeah was that a masturbation joke I mean fired up to make the run for the key while on the blasting station use the left analog stick to aim and the square button to fire right on I'll keep him covered I mean I would uh, <laughs> I would say I'm surprised but honestly that seems pretty in character for a Sly Cooper game Which just reminds me of this thing I watched recently. Um, I was checking out some of the free uh, movies on YouTube. And, um... <laughs> There's one on there called Bob the Butler. It's a Tom Green movie that I could swear I first saw on the Disney Channel. Which is especially weird considering that there's a running masturbation joke. Yeah, one of the one of the kids that uh, Tom Green's character is the butler for is named Bates, and of course his uh, his butler uh, instructor always told him to refer to the family as master or mistress, you know, whatever. I'm half done. Which, by the way. If you name your kid Bates, you're you're just a bad parent. You're a dick because you've basically doomed that child to years of bullying.
Uh-oh. Please don't tell me we gotta start all the fuck way back here. You gotta be fucking kidding me. And the alarm. What? No. Oh god, please don't tell me these are fucking random. I want to say that that's the last annoying level like that, but I think there's another race. In fact, I'm almost sure of it. I mean, if I'm remembering... The weather changed while I was... <laughs>
I'm not gonna lie, the, uh, the exploding spires really do make more sense in Panda Levels... In Panda Levels... In Panda King's level than it did in, uh... Than it did in Mr. Ruby's level. I just, I love that. Just that, just that additional little touch. It just, mm. So nice. Oh, you're new. Chow Mei. Chipmunkus Kung fu -yum. So gave me another opportunity to check out that. Okay. Chippius Kung Fuium listens to Techno. Uh, of course. Get dog. Oh no, wait, there's a way back. Up. Okay. My word, how shall I ever get across this impenetrable 
Ooh, grid of lasers! I can never... I don't even need to do this, I just... Just flexing. Could we almost be at the end, possibly? It was a challenge, but this vault's combination has got to be six, six, seven. How much you want to bet it used to be just six, 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 and some pearl clutching parent complained in the uh, focus group or something? Well, that's good, but also, fuck you, Bentley! Stop putting me in situations where I can fall into fucking bottomless pits. That's, like, his whole thing, Bentley. Temple of Flame. Love it. Hey! Despite its temple-like facade, this place is really some sort of training ground. Stay on your toes! I mean... Technically speaking, a lot of temples are train grounds. Bentley, what, what are you talking about? Maybe not all of them are for martial arts, but I mean, like, training of some sort. Ah, come to Papa. You see nothing! Fuck 
she was much closer than she looked. Hey. Y'all come up with something? No, I mean, you are enemies though, right? I mean, currently you're not enemies, because uh, you, you don't attack me and I can't attack you, but... I mean, these were the same guys that were going after Murray in that one level. Hmm. What a... Okay. It's weird that it's that action, but alright, whatever. I just want to hit the gong. Okay, that's a little annoying that it's just some random... Mm. That you just gotta... fall to get that one. Eh, at least it gives me an excuse to grab these. Go ahead and hit the fast button. Yep, look at me go. Greased lightning. Or is this progress? This this feels more like progress. I can see the key up there. Straight up thought she hit me there. a whole area? What the hell? Where is it? I th mm. think 
I don't know where some of them are. There's two of them. Where'd... Where'd all the nunchuck monkeys go? Oh, there's a safe. Just need two more. Okay, so they just weirdly despawned. That okay, sure. Like where ah there it is. There you are. You two sneaky little sons of Sam. I don't know where I was going with that sentence either. I used to be way more annoyed by the uh, by their voices in this in this level. I don't know why. I mean, they're not necessarily pleasant, but I mean. but not because of their voices. Seriously quiet now, with everyone dead. I know, I know, canonically they're not dead, I just beat them into unconsciousness with a fucking solid wooden golden cane. Yeah, that's totally better. Beat them into unconsciousness and then just left them in and left them in the snow on a mountain. Eh, they're fine, they're fine, they're fine. The vault code. Lucky for you, I burst in chaos theory. Otherwise, this code would have been unsolvable. Input I... 932. Okay. Wrong way, you fool. Just wanted to make sure that the sound was still coming through well. I 
I really don't get why why this is seems to be the only PS3 game that you know the sound doesn't get all fucked up when I when I'm playing it through the HDMI or ra rather doesn't fuck up when I'm streaming it through the HDMI. What were those locks actually doing to hold down those fireworks? I... Whatever. I've calculated the trajectory of these rockets <laughs> and... I'm 99% sure you'll be able to ride them all the way to the top of that statue before they explode. Mm. What about that other 1%? Well, in that case, Sly, you will be blown to bits. But the experience will no doubt be spectacular. Nice. Fantastic. Now, to unlock these rockets, you're going to need all seven of the Panda King's treasure keys. Right on. I'll steal them in no time. Again, I don't... It's not like there's chains on them. There's just padlocks. On these ro on these uh, fireworks. I... Whatever. Oh boy. <sighs> Might as well get it out of the way. Yay, another ray. Oh, I'm minding my post when I notice a snow cone stand and I think to myself, hey Murray, you gotta keep your energy up. So I hurry over here and then all of a sudden monkeys are everywhere, bugging me to race them three times around this track for a key. Could use the key. Think you could take them? Come on, Sly. They're a pack of monkeys. How can I lose? All right. Remember, steer with the racist question mark. Keep clear of those icy patches. Thanks for the advice, Sly. But trust me, I got this under control. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Got some nitro in the back pocket. And there we go. Nice driving, Murray. Now, go get that key. It's like they realized how bullshit the first race was, and was like, let's go ahead and uh, make the next race, let's, uh, you know, make the races not so hard. All right, and then they made this one, and then they just didn't make the first race less bullshit. Man, they, uh, they really didn't expect you to have the, uh, 
the uh, moving while invisible ability yet, did they? Oh god. Okay. Uh, you know what? This might not be so bad. What? What? what what's the thing here? to see if I can, uh... Can I even take out my binocchi con? No, I cannot take out the binocchi con. Well, that sucks. I just had a thought. Why are why is this having an effect on a hovercraft? Shouldn't I be moving, you know, above the moving ground? Hmm. Shenanigans. See, here's the thing. Now it's now Andre has a legitimate reason to fear me. Fear me! Okay, I'll stop. And if I'm if I'm Is it just me? Or do the shots that I fire at these guys seem to be just directly at their crotches? Hmm. 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 Unfortunate. Just fucking blazing through these. I mean, I'm gonna go a little bit over time, but, uh, you know. Fuck it. Get the fuck out of here, you. Oh, I remember this level. Yeah, this one's, uh, this one's, uh,. This one's safe is stupid. Because I can't actually uh, open it up before I beat the game. Freeze, raccoon! How can I freeze when my heart warms at the very sight of you? Shut up, Ringtail. I don't know what you're doing here in China, but I'm sure it can't be good for whoever owns this place. You must only have eyes for me if you're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped justice for far too long. I'm proud to be a thief, especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal explosives factory. Don't try to confuse the issue. You criminals are all the same, and none of you can escape justice. I mean, have I ever... 
Have I ever uh, caused an avalanche to engulf a small, small village? Then I would hazard to say I'm different than the Panda King. That's not what I meant to do. Oh. No. Oh, but my, but my horseshoes. Okay, I can still get there. Nice. We use every part of the archway. Oh yeah, I, I have that thing that uh, keeps me from uh, getting hurt from falling down pits. Nice. it loops back around. Yee. Right by my head. God, she looks gigantic from this angle. That's so dumb. That's so dumb. Like, yeah, if I'm remembering correctly, it's a super OP ability, but... Y you know what? I earned it, okay? I got every clue bottle in every level that has a clue bottle in it. Watch your back, Cooper. When you least expect it, I'll be there. Sha na na gins. Shenanigans of the highest order.
And my mind didn't blow up this guy. Salty Johns all around. There it goes. Well, yeah, but it wasn't doing that when I hit the button. That... I see you carry cane of notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the Thievius Raccoonus? That was my plan at first, but now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief. Just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves. While you, you're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique. Flame Fu. Yeah. Sorry, I was trying to do something on my phone. is an easy boss battle. <laughs> physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van. A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche protection services and ensuring the safety of mountain villages throughout China. My gang and I took a little time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed, we headed home to plan our next move. Anyway... Okay, partner, this is it! A trip to Clockwork's lair! Yep. The final level. Or rather, the final area. Well, final level, it, it, it's like... It, you, you can't actually, like... It just sort of goes, like, level to level for this last bit. But, that is something we will experience... Okay. A next ten. A trip to Clockworks Lair. So that's gonna be it for today's stream. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching this on Twitch, please consider following and when available subscribing. Although you may... What the fuck was that about? No, the sound is still normal. The picture's fine. Okay, whatever. That's weird. Uh, yeah. So, uh, if you're watching this on Twitch, uh, please consider following and when available subscribing. Although you may want to hold off on uh, following right now uh, so that you can be eligible for the raffle that I'm going to do next week on Wednesday at 8 during the celebratory stream that I'll be doing for getting 100 subscribers on YouTube. Uh, also, if you're watching this on YouTube, please consider like, commenting, sharing, subscribing, and dinging the bell. Uh, all that really helps me out, really helps me out and lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content that I'm putting out. And, uh, yeah. Next time we'll be taking on Clockwork and that probably won't eat up the full two hours and I'll figure out something then. Um, but until then, I'll be seeing you. Oh, and one last thing. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in hell.